Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of the new features of Docker Data Center 2.0. The first is services. A service is the definition of the work you want your Docker nodes to do. So think about a web front end or a database. Those would be services. And services are comprised of tasks. And tasks are groups of one to many containers that do the actual work. So if we click here on services, what we'll see is we have a single service running right now called CatWeb. CatWeb is just a website that displays a random cat GIF. So where does the service come from? Well, it's deployed from a Docker image. So the Docker images are stored up here on Docker Trusted Registry. So if I go up here and I click on Trusted Registry, you can see at the top there's the CatWeb image. And so down here is the reInvent image. And that's the, the image we're going to use to build our service, which we'll deploy in the next step. So uh, we're going to go up here and click on Universal Control Plane, and we're going to click Create Service. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll give it a service name, and we'll call our service Hello World, and then we're going to specify the image to use. In this case, it's coming off our DTR server, dtr.dockerdemos.com, from the demo user repository, and it's called reInvent. So that looks pretty typical. Um, let's go ahead here, and we're going to click on Resources. The first thing we need to do is specify our network port, which is 8080, and now we have to attach it to a network. But before we actually choose our network, it might be a good time to stop and explain the second feature we want to talk about today, HTTP Routing Mesh. HTTP Routing Mesh is an experimental feature in Docker Data Center 2 that allows us to perform service discovery at the application layer. It ties a specific domain name to a backend service. The first step then in configuring HTTP routing mesh is to make sure that our service is on the HRM network. So we'll do that and click done. The next thing is we have to tie the domain name back to our service. We do this by applying a label to our service. So we'll come in here and we'll give it a key and we'll put in a value here. And what we've done is we've used a very specific key, com.docker.ucp.mesh.http is a reserved key that is tied to the HTTP routing mesh service. And the value says, look, if I get a request that comes in to hello.docker.com, and that comes through the HTTP header, uh, route it over to the service running on port 8080, which is the port for our reInvent service. All right, so let's deploy our service. And we'll come over here, uh, successfully created the service hello world down there we'll throw that away let's go back to our main page um, I'm gonna do a refresh so you can see the service is actually running and there you go status one of one click on that drill down you can see down here under task template the image we used came off our DTR server uh, let me scroll back up and I'm gonna go over here to scheduling click on that and I'm gonna take it from one backing task to five backing tasks so five containers providing our service Click OK, save changes. And we're updating the service. Um, successfully updated the service. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And let's go to a new tab in our browser. And let's go to hello.dockerdemos.com. That's the service we deployed. So what's going to happen here is we're going to load up this web page. And you can see it, it shows the IP of the container providing the web page. And if I refresh it, that IP address changes. That's the HTTP routing mesh saying, okay, a request has come in at that URL, let's send it to a container that can provide that service. So let's drill down into that service and take a look at some of the tasks and some of the properties there. So here's those five containers that make up the tasks and I'll click on one of those. And here you can see a lot of the things that Universal Control Plane gives you, right? A lot of insight into the containers um, that are running. So I've, I know what node they're running on. I can see the networks they're attached to, um, environment variables, the port that we assigned earlier runs on port 8080. I can take a look at the log. So here you can see what's actually happening inside the container. I can take a look at performance statistics. This takes a second to come in, but if I scroll down, you can see the memory utilization, networking traffic. These containers aren't really doing a lot of work. And I can even uh, execute a shell into the running container. So here I am inside my container, and let's take a look at the index.php file that powers the website. There it is. So I'll disconnect from that. So that's all we have for today, right? So today we took a look at the concept of services and the HTTP routing mesh in Docker Data Center. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Visit us at www.docker.com for more information.